Hello YouTube! Time for another project. Um, this is an injection pump for a six cylinder Mercedes, Ohm 603, the one I use the most. Um, according to people on YouTube, if you take one of these apart, you might as well yunk it because you can never get them right again. And I think it's a little bit harsh to say that they are so sensitive, but nevertheless, uh, without any way to check how much fuel they deliver, I understand that you can never get them back the way they were again, because you can never test them. Uh, so we're going to build a very crude testing bench today, and about a 3 kilowatt electric, 3 phase electric motor, but I forgot to bring it. Uh, I'm going to couple that one, this is from the Mercedes engine, so I'm going to part out this one to get the shaft from it, uh, and then from eBay, I got this coupler to go between the electric engine and uh, this one, and furthermore, I need a reference, uh, this one is fairly newly refurbished, they are non-turbo, I think at 125 bars, but they should be equal and I can test it later on if they are equal. I've got six of those uh, pipes to go between that and that one, and nuts. We gotta measure the amount of fuel. And to do that, this is old style measuring stuff. But I got these test tubes, six of these ones. I'm going to run it with the original fuel here. Yeah. And I got this one made up. So I'm going to use probably a O ring or something to lock this one here and get the injectors on top behind it like this, some way to tilt it in. Uh, on top of that, I do need to be able to regulate the speed on this one. So I got the cheapest frequency runner I could find on eBay. So with this one hopefully I can regulate the speed on the motor and also hopefully get a soft start so it just don't click away. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but this one, they run fairly rough. The cam lobes, you can see, I don't know how the electric motor will react if it's too small or something, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So first things first, I'm gonna take one, this one apart and start making the coupler for it. Thank you. 
So, uh, let me start off by apologizing for the bad sound in the intro, in the beginning of this video. Uh, the sound was super terrible to begin with, but uh, the microphone here had fallen down all the way to the belly, so I just have to rely on a GoPro microphone. And um, the, it wasn't all that good, so I hope I hear you, you can hear me better now. Um, I checked the... Uh, Low here. Uh, I set this one. Take the mat. It's um, in Sweden. We run on 50 hertz on the net, and um, the motor, if it runs without a frequency runner here, it runs at 2,840 RPM. So I took uh, 2,840 40. RPM divided it by 50. So for each hertz, this motor should put out 56.8 rounds per minute. Uh, and then I, I want a thousand RPM. Um, so I took 56.8 divided by thousand, thousand divided by 56.8. Thousand divided by 56.8. And I got 7.60. So I ran the frequency on this at that hertz uh, to get out a thousand strokes. So then I just have to remember one minute at full load. So I get a thousand strokes. And I think that's the standard when they have these test benches. It's a thousand strokes on this one, not on the engine. Uh, this one runs half as fast as the engine, so a thousand strokes on the injection pump and how much fuel you get out of that. And I think it's that, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I keep at the same, I measure at the same all the time, it doesn't really matter. Um, it was a little bit inconsistent. I got, on the first cylinder, I got a little bit higher, 47, 45, 45 milliliters. Uh, second cylinder, 44, 43, 42. I have run it three times now. 42, 42, 41 on number three. Number four, 41, 41, 41. Number five, 43, 41, 41. Number six, 45, 44, 43. So both of the ends here are a little bit higher than those in the middle. And I don't really know why, uh, but we're not finished yet. I'm going to mount another similar pump and just test it and see if it, it does the same thing. Because it, if it does the same thing, I'm going to start switching out the injectors here. So it's not the injectors, but they, they are newly refurbished and I got new nozzles in it. So they should perform the same, but I'm not sure. So we are going to swap out this one. So let's do that. Oh, and by the way, I had to buy a new frequency loader. Uh, the Chinese one, this one, it said kaboom, <laughs> directly, and a lot of smoke came out, so uh, I had to buy one that's five times the money, unfortunately, but uh, I made this box so that I can use it to other applications too, not just this injection pump, so that's, that's my excuse for burning a lot more money. So let's switch out the pump and see how the other one performs.
there. Uh, this one was way more consistent. Uh, I got 34, 36, 34, 34, 34 and 35 millimeter, milliliters on six cylinders. And uh, the one that were a bit odd on the other one was number one. So I can rule out it's not the injector uh, on the number one. So it's just the uh, pump and I can adjust the pumps different elements on this one. Uh, now I switched the pump again. So this one, I don't think I have to do maybe number two a little bit over, but it's so little. So I, I it's in the realm where I don't think it's possible to get any closer. Um, I tested all of this measurement, you see, I tested on a thousand strokes uh, and regardless of engine speed, engine speed is the key here, but I, I use one minute uh, as a threshold. Uh, so I could have run it half as fast and waited two minutes instead and get the same result. It's just, it's a thousand strokes, that's the important stuff. And I did measure the rack throw on the other one. Oh, this one is uh, this throw and uh, on the other one uh, without the pump running it was at least 1.1 centimeter so 11 millimeter at least and my dial gauge doesn't go any further than one centimeter so it was beyond the measuring range for me and uh, if I measure without any load on the pump it was about seven millimeters tra rack travel and uh, that is key because you can adjust it here and you, you I think you adjust how much the rack can travel on the back end uh, but it's all tested and this video it was about making the injection pump not fixing one of these uh, I have bought new pump elements for this one a refurbished kit for this application. So I got these ones. So this is the ones that goes inside here and uh, you tilt it a little bit when you do this motion. So the stroke is the same all the time and you tilt and there's a little slot here that changes the amount of fuel. And this is the bigger stuff. So um, I'm going back to this one again later on when I'm going to fix this. Because I need one of these injection pumps for a summer project. But um, as far as building the pump, I'm pleased now. I do want to make it maybe a little more automatic. And I would like to have a second counter. RPM counter just to be on the safe side. So I don't know on the load if this one slows down or if the Siemens stuff uh, take that in consideration. Uh, on full load, I, I reckon it's going way harder to turn around, so I'm not sure that. So a second counter just to be safe would be nice. And maybe making this part more automatic, it's not that hard for me to just use the hand and move it around. So um, that's it for this one. So thanks for watching. See you in another video. Bye bye.